And now, the news you need from hosts you trust, but shouldn't. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. News. With Jared Cat Puke Taylor, Dan D'Anthony Holloway, Ross Big Perm Patterson, Evan Jazz Hands Hafer, Matt Second Best, and sometimes Baker the Ball Baby. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. Welcome back to Fake News, everybody. Wow, super excited to be it's here today. It's great to be here. A lot it's going on this past week. Really excited. A lot going on, kind of yes. like our outfits yes. today. I'm yes. feeling I'm feeling like a douche. You are the lead singer of Lincoln Box Seats. You, you are looking at whatever Lincoln's, I want. Yeah. Lincoln's Box Seats, thank you, what baby. I call it? What I call Lincoln it? Box Seats, come on. And Which, just so you know... Um, there's a brand involved here. <laughs> Thank you for yeah, specifying yeah, that's the actual That's what you're going to take a hard stance on. You're wearing a fucking cowboy hat, and you're getting upset about him. Jared has a lovely oil. cowboy Listen, hat on. I, I have a... recently taken ownership of a lot of oil in Texas. Oh, you're oh. an oil man now. So I figured I would dress the part. I'm having a midlife crisis, and I look like you I just bought like, a red Ferrari or something. I would say like a yellow Corvette. <laughs> you're yeah, a yellow real, Corvette. Yeah, this that's is That's peacocking bad. right there. <laughs> cool. That's all that is. Oh, by the way, this was just in this morning, oh, guys. Oh, there was oh, a oh. level seven earthquake in Wilmington, North Carolina. Is Breaking okay? news, yes. Jay, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news. What do you have for us, Matthew? It is actually not an earthquake. It was Ross Patterson walking oh. to the gas station. <laughs> so I am sorry for the uh, double the, the burn on that one. Double burn. Double, double burn. burn. It was an earthquake joke for North Carolina and a burn on Ross. Yeah. Whew. That's a lot of boom booms. It sounds like uh, the T Rex in Jurassic Park, whoa, the original. Whoa, whoa! Let's get into this, dude. I, like I this this is fucking hilarious. Almost, it says a billion billionaire diamond trader dies during a penis enhancement procedure. Yep. Dan, what do you got, man? Um, so the guy was sixty five, which makes no sense. No, I mean he's sixty five and a billionaire, right? Right. Do you need to fuck with your dick at that point? No, like you can buy. I, I, that's that's no. that's going to be my stance right out the gate. Is you've lived with this dick for sixty five years. Yeah. Like at this point, like and when did he get his billion dollars? Long I mean, time he's ago. Been yeah. there for a so long it's time, it's kind of yeah. to me. It's like. You didn't think of this before, maybe? You ever see Blood well, Diamond? Yeah, he's a Blood Diamond guy. He's like So he was well-deserving to die. Oh, yeah, fuck this guy. I, the diamond market is just stupid in general. We, they, they tell everybody that diamonds are so hard to find. They're actually no, not that hard. Jared, what's the name of that documentary? Uh, Blood Diamonds? No. No, that's, that's the movie, movie with, uh, with Leo. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I thought that was a documentary. Oh, my God. Dude, don't. Please <laughs> no, it don't is a documentary because yeah, that's, yeah, that's the guy. Leonardo DiCaprio. No, like, now I, I swear to God. I Leonardo swear to DiCaprio God. did two major documentaries in his acting career. Blood Diamonds was one. The other one was Wolf of Wall Street. Mm, that, those False. Are, well, <laughs> he's well, been an active, busy guy in his career. He absolutely. absolutely has, and he's been acting in a lot of documentaries. I'm and real going things. to attack you. I'm going to ask you this you question stop. right here, and this it's what if Hollywood was hiding documentaries in real movies? You mean a biopic? Yeah, that's like a. I'm biopic. just saying, what if they were hiding documentaries in movies we thought were real? Like let Men, me, like Men in Black. Let example. me add on to this. Let yeah. me add on. To yeah, this. yeah, yeah. I want to hear if your thoughts. If it was not a documentary, how did he have the South African accent? Mic drop. Exactly. Where did because he get that he from? Did a, Kite, where called did he like get a method that actor? Yeah, he you know, just did might, the accent. Basically. That's, that's the hard Bruce. question here. Where did Leonardo DiCaprio... Bruce. Yeah. That's a South African term. Bro. That's Afrikaan. It's a mixture of... It's well, like Dutch. Afrikaans is unconjugated Kans. street Jesus street Dutch. Christ. It's Dutch. I'm going to stab you to death. I'm just... I'm asking the question, Dan. The, qu the, Stop the, the hating question on Leo. is... Stop hating on Leo. I know. The, you're, you're over here trying to discount a man's pristine acting career, and we're wondering, is Hollywood really hiding facts inside major motion pictures? I think that's probably likely, actually. If, well, it, if it was Men in Black and that was an actual documentary, but they portrayed it as just a fictional movie, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, what kind of NDA is Will Smith under? I mean, has anybody ever asked? What about I, Tommy Lee Jones? Mm. You know, Tommy Lee Jones was uh, Al Gore's roommate in college. Tommy Lee Jones lives that? in my apartment. Complex. Skull and bones. No, that's you not got, true. You guys are thinking it about this all is. wrong because what happens is the little, the little red. We just got confirmation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there, this just in. Tommy Lee Jones is my neighbor. No, he's not. <laughs> that is not true. Tommy Lee Jones was Who are you pointing bones. at? I'm pointing at uh, Ross Patterson right there on the, oh. on the couch. Ross is sitting this one out. He's Hello, uh, Ross. He didn't want to walk to the stage today. Um, <laughs> I like how this guy, this billionaire, okay, so he suffered a heart attack when a substance, in quotations, was injected yep. into his penis. Now, was he awake 
or was he asleep? That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, if you were going to get a needle put into your dick, would you want to be awake? But if he's a blood diamond guy, that would be pretty sweet if he was awake and he's like, oh, my dick's going to be so, so. Again, he's dead. you're a billionaire. Yeah. Like, why do you need a bigger dick? I don't, or you I can don't just pay it. chicks to be like, God, your dick yeah, is so yeah, huge. That's, it. that's what the if biggest that's dick I've seen in six their, years. Yeah, what if that's part of their contract when they show up? Now, the it's question just, is, the, here's, here's the real question, and no one's, ta- no one's asking the tough questions, and that's as a journalist, I feel we need to do that. Yeah, how small it. was his dick? I don't know about Very how true. small his dick was, but it did say in the article that he had a quote-unquote Napoleon complex, meaning he right. was a short man. And to quote you, sir, he was very short, comma. Why wouldn't you find, if you were That's a, the best if you were a billionaire, That's though, the best you've ever written. why wouldn't you find girls that had fetishes for small penises oh, and, 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 it had sh- and shallow vaginas? Yeah. I was literally yeah, going to say that. That's what I was going to say. Because you, you make... could tell your assistant, hey, measure some vaginas. I need them five inches yeah. or less. Well, this goes back to what you were saying. You guys were saying the other day about volume. Volume. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Measuring. We, we got to get somebody volume. on that. Let's get our science. We team need on a that. woman. Yeah. Let's. Uh, uh, let's. We will have the executive producer Dave. Uh, if you can get a hold of a woman scientist, uh, we would like to research volume measurements of women. And I, we will be fielding these questions through Doctor Dickhead, which will be a segment coming out very soon. Yes, oh. you said we've recently Drinking Bros Face Fake News has recently hired a doctor, medical doctor, right? Yeah. yeah. So he has the Former answer to, to everything. Yeah, and so we a, can ask him anything. Complete, he's a uh, complete raging asshole. A real medical doctor, spinal yeah. surgeon, right? Yeah, and a Stanford fellow to boot. Ooh. Yeah, but he also, you know, is expert on things like space and earth and animals, Horses. space and earth. Yeah, that's all the things right there. That's pretty much everything. That's pretty holistic. God damn. Yeah. All right. that, so what technically a Napoleon complex that just means that because you're short right you have just you're just you project you're mad at the world yeah. and you get a big truck yep. and you get a billion dollars and yeah. it's very confusing that you would try to increase your penis there you go at check it out right there yeah. it's a theorized complex. complex occurring in people of short stature it is characterized by overly aggressive and domineering social behavior and it carries implication that such behavior is compensationary for subjects stature named after Napoleon yeah. also he was a tiny man and he, he was yeah. and what they forgot in that description is the absence of getting the shit knocked out of you when you behave that way that is one of our medical theories that the reason so many people are out there fucking around is because they haven't been punched in the face enough let's let's make yeah. sure we note that we'll ask Dr. Dick we will yeah we yeah. will yeah. we will we will uh, uh, paper mark that one and we'll yeah. get back to that moving right. on uh on today's hot button topics <laughs> will smith has caught backlash for colorism after being cast as venus and serena williams father in a movie that could be a documentary biopic yeah so uh colorism is a thing now when did the, since when i don't i don't know mm. specifically i was talking to uh ross patterson about it earlier um what's up ross? and he has some insight as a as a what half jamaican yeah so he had some insight of this, but Will Smith is not black enough to play this guy, apparently. According to some people, not everybody agrees, but according to some people, they felt they should have gotten a darker actor to play this guy. And it's an issue within the community. Apparently. Now, do you think, here, here's my question, though, is do you think this could be about the blackness of Will Smith, or do you think it might be also the community just saying, hey, Will Smith gets all kinds of dope roles already. Can you can you throw a bone to somebody else, maybe? Yeah, I mean, that's the like point, Denzel. though. Like Denzel. You want to bring so- no, Denzel? No, no, that's another... That's, that's, you're, you're highly just, acclaimed yeah, actor. Same, but same here's, level Here's there. my favorite actor. Here's actor. the problem. Yeah. The people that... The only guy I've seen put forward for this role that wasn't... Like, Don Cheadle was one of them. He's a fucking megastar. Everybody knows who he is. Uh, Chadwick Boseman. I think he David star. Everybody David knows who he made is. an excellent father yeah, to but Serena Williams. Don yeah, but they're both, they both look way... I mean, they, it, they look really young too that's yeah. another issue Don Keith David doesn't look young Keith David could have definitely done it but yeah, I, he's a, he's a character actor I don't know if he can I mean no disrespect to Mr. David there's this thing called I makeup mean, too me. that you can age people you know we aged Evan in a skit that's before true, yeah. that was fantastic you know skit. Keith David played me what in range fifteen? That was me. that is true. Yeah, so, you were. Yes. It was. It was. If he can play, I mean, and and, and a white I mean, he was black enough to play a white guy. Yeah, yeah but uh, the thing and he is, is a Don great Cheadle. actor, by the way. Love me some Keith David. Him and I had a great scene. Men at Work is one of my favorite movies. That is of a really all time. good. It's hard to find too one. these yeah, days. You is. can't just buy it. That's yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's one of the you know, there's a lot of underrated. Uh, uh, what's his name? The one of the leads in Men at Work. He was also in Mighty Ducks. Oh, Emilio Estevez. Emilio Estevez and you Charlie. Know, I would Sheen. say nineteen nineties under, most underrated actor. I mean, it's like the. I uh, mean, his feathered hair was very underrated. I yeah. He that. always had great hair. You know what I like about Emilio Estevez is he understood. Loaded weapon. 
No. He oh. understood uh, when no one gave a fuck anymore, and he just disappeared. You know who also did mm. that? Rick Moranis. Yeah, big time. Uh, or he, he got shrunk by one of those devices, which, again, Honey, I Shrunk oh, the Kids shit. may have been. I a, a told you. I yeah, brought possible. this up. We're now talking about it. Finally, there's a real discussion wondering if Hollywood has been tricking us for years. That, I mean, that would be pretty rad. Like if Will Smith actually saw all the aliens, he did the part acting, knowing he'd seen the aliens and he was very accurate in his representation of nonfiction. And then they, they, you know they erased kinda, his memory. You know and now what's kind of getting, uh, you, you know, what's a little overdone is the rock movies. No, like, but see, I love I, the rock. I'm all about the rock because he knows what he's doing. He's very inspirational his approach in social media to inspire young kids and women. And moreover, he just is taking every role he can for like, you know, 10 to 20 million dollars to do these yes, B plus movies. But have movies. you seen Fuck it. No, I'm going with like have you seen this this pattern lately? I mean, like right now some of the new releases of The Rock is Rampage about him with a giant white ape and then the other one is Skyscraper, but last year they did the 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 other one about Los Angeles having a big earthquake, so it's pretty much he's, skyscraper, dude, he's, he's but taken, a little so different. He plays a helicopter rescue pilot. Hollywood's like, not putting out great movies, so the guy's just fishing while the fish are biting. Well, no, I don't fault think, him for that. I, I, and he stays neutral. He doesn't take a political I, side. He's I, a neutral person. No, that's a, that's a perfect approach. Yeah. Completely believe that is not for the domestic audience. I mean, most movies to include Marvel are not for the American no, they're audience. For they're all for China and the overseas. So, like, Rock is as big as there is as an actor overseas so they're just like shit these movies out have china pick them up make the bang bang bucks and you know itchy knees here's she go. my make you that think was Japanese, question Chinese, today think of think of film history in the last 30 years and the and the, and, the, and the massive franchises and great titles that you've loved and seen why isn't any other country produced a decent movie Dude, Bollywood. Where the Bollywood. fuck is Russia Bollywood. on the film industry? The fight scenes in Bollywood movies are the are funniest the, the things I've ever. ever seen in my goddamn life. Are we releasing them, them over here? I don't have the mental capacity to create something that, is, that no. is Where the, gu- the guns, it's, like the 60 oh, guns that comes yeah. out. It's so yes, funny. It's yeah. amazing, it's but so are funny. we releasing them over here? We're no, because to. Americans don't give a fuck about any other country. I'm just That's saying. That's how it is. Why I mean, hasn't any other country made a dope movie like The Avengers? I'm sure they have. Lazy, is all the Lazy creativity Lee won an Oscar. in America? Lazy no. Lee won an Oscar, like with uh, Miriam Coliard. There's... And I know, like the UK kind of puts out things that are a little Wait, boring. Wait, no, you're wrong. Then... What about Slumdog Millionaire, man? What about all the Harry Potter movies? Uh, what are those? British? Yeah, they, they were made over here. They weren't made in the UK. No, no. they weren't. Motherfucker. I mean, what they were made about? by it's... by United hey, States based hey. production <laughs> companies. <laughs> well, please, maybe, please but... educate him as to where the actual school Hogwarts exists. It doesn't. It... Whoa. 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 Let's take a turn to Listen, negative town. I, am only, I time. just started the Harry Potter documentaries. I'm only through the second one <laughs> about halfway through it. So I'm not very educated on this hog wallow. Um, <laughs> okay, two things. One, that's not how you say that fucking word. And two, it's not a documentary. This is not one of those cases. How do you know? Because I live in, in reality. It, okay, Let's you go. live in reality Ladies in America, and gentlemen, not in the UK. In. Dan lives in reality. Fuck you. You're telling me right now that Hermione Granger, now that she's legal, you wouldn't take her out for a steak dinner? Who said anything about that? I'm di- I just asked a question. How legal is she? Legal as she's a motherfucker. Like, she's out of college now. Like 26? I mean, she's mm-hmm. over 20. That's pretty legal. She's 20 something. 18 is legal across the Steak yeah. dinner, Dan. Steak dinner, yes. Yeah, but 26 yeah, she's is gorgeous. better. Hermione Granger True. goes to steak for dinner. our age. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Why would you not take her out to a steak dinner? I, I'm just, I just asked you if you would take yeah, her. Yeah, of course I would. Would you take J.K. Rowling out to a steak dinner? Would you take uh, Ellen Page yeah. out for a dinner? Who? Ellen Page. No, I would take no. her out behind the shed and shoot her in the head like old yeller. That's I, would, I, would do. I would take out Ellen because DeGeneres. I would love an oh, afternoon drinking session with Ellen oh, DeGeneres. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I would hang out with her every day. Yeah, but I would, I would tell too. her, if you try to scare me, I'm probably going to hit yeah. or shoot the person does, that scares me. Is she known me. for scaring people? That's what she does she in her show. She scares people, yeah. all the, uh, like the A-listers. Like She yeah. scared T-Swift one time in a bathtub or room bathroom, and she fell on the ground. and like It was hilarious. That's awesome. Ellen DeGeneres is an awesome person. She is. The Rock is an awesome Awesome person. I would hang out with Ellen every day. Would I you say Ellen. he's a rock? He's a pillar of the community. Dwayne? Yeah. You didn't get my dad joke. Fuck DJ. you. Where does he go from here, though? That's a question. Where does uh, the he rock goes go from here? Wherever the fuck he wants, because he's a goddamn gajillionaire now. Yeah. That's where he goes. He's, Politics. 
I, I think see him Kajillion is actually a form, of, uh, a form of, of measure. Fuck. Uh, is Kajillion, is Kajillion oh, shit, a the real The Canadian measure? fucking Mounties hey, just showed well, up. Please join <laughs> us. Have a Jeez. seat on the couch. <laughs> Clay, you might want to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we were just joined by two of Canada's finest. This is fantastic. Just so you know, this is not our daily attire. We're on the fake news right now, and so we're really fitting the part. It's fine. They've got guns, though. So all right, all right. I'm still confused on the colorism thing. Are people just putting Here, ism on, like, that's a snowboardism? That's yeah. A, I mean, I, look, we're, none of us are people of color, so I don't understand what it's like to be in that community. Although I did grow up in a black neighborhood, but this just seems like not. more division to me is what it seems like. Well, let, let me throw this, throw this out there. The Rock faced this same type of backlash on colorism when he was doing a film, I think, within the past three or four months. The only difference is, is he was like, I'm not stepping aside from it was a guy that led a uh, led people through the underground railroad i think something mm. like that mm. um and he was like i'm not only making this movie myself and paying for it i'm producing i'm doing everything you're insane if you think i'm stepping away yeah so he's, that's good that's mm. the answer yeah. though it's yeah. like i mean i and don't it, know it went away i don't know why away. more people don't do this with this faking facing backlash Take to Twitter and go, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. How does that, how does that work? Not, I don't care. It works. You say, I don't give a fuck, and then like people they bitch go, for another uh, week, and then uh, it's over. No, uh, a week. Like, no shit. It's over. No, dude, it's like no. a day. 48 hours. A day, the, yeah. The, the, they'll the, find something yeah. else to Each bitch about the next in day. in the Outrage Olympics lasts no more than 48 hours. Well, this is stupid, so let's but move they on. Better, but they better make that that documentary, um, as, as Jared would call it, on Venus and Serena Williams, because they're the two of the oh, best yeah, to ever do it as sisters. And they're boss men. I'm much more like dad was a hard ass. Yeah, he's uh, of, I'm course. Sure. of what course. is your what are your guys' thoughts? And you'll know who this is because I don't I don't remember his name, but he's the dad that has the two sons that are in the NBA. Oh, LeVar oh, Walton. Ball. Walton? No, Walton. no, no, no. LeVar Ball. LeVar Ball. 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 Yeah. yeah. Ballers. Yeah, they're crazy. Let me take point they're on all this. Crazy I fuck. think okay, I'm just gonna tell you. Fucking what I think. idiot. Yeah, there's only one son <laughs> in the NBA right now. Oh, There's only the other one, one son that will it? ever be in the NBA. The other two are playing in like Romania or something. No, they're in the high school league, Wait, the G League. No, who's well, an they're idiot. in the G League now. Yeah, yeah. who's Latvia. an idiot? I thought both Latvia. kids Latvia, got yeah. ex- like like letters to go to the NBA. No, 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 you no. You don't no. get a letter to go no. to the NBA. How you do know? you know? Have you ever been gotten a letter to no, go I'm to the NBA? No, I'm just an adult human being that knows things. <laughs> Sometimes they send a letter. No, they always you know send that. a lot of letters. They do. I don't know. I mean, well, uh, well, let, since we're talking <laughs> a sports. Nice, with a nice, uh, I would you know, like to congratulate <laughs> stamps that Matt are made Best out of wax. on qualifying for the bench press competition for the NFL Combine. Thank you. Oh, Wait, yeah. you Thank did you. what? I, I did. We, we, had a, we had a bench off, and I met the Combine numbers. I, I think I was in the like, top, the top 10. Three. Yeah, but no, don't you have no, to no, like, 10, no. numbers the, for like, another so 40 the, categories? The, in this now, NFL Combine, the top five running backs. Top Top five running backs. 34 reps, 28, and then it was like 25, 24, 24, and this 24. This is 225 on a 225. flat bench. This mm-hmm. is a, a meaningless fucking test, by the way. Yeah, it's stupid. And I, the next day, I was like, oh, wow, we were talking about this yesterday. I sent it over to Matt, and uh, Matt is on the draft board now. That's cool. I mean, That's I don't even have to do the 40 or whatever else. No, it's okay. or the jumping, we, no. We won't worry about that. Yeah, we'll do that at pro day, but right now, sure. you're on the bench. Congratulations, okay. Matt. Thank well, you. I'm, I'm worried if you do the 40, your dick might fall out like that guy. That's true. Did you it's, guys see that? It's heavy. Yeah, yeah it's I know heavy. Like his whole about, dick and balls and I'll tell you what, I'll be test. He's packing about the same thing, hey, so he's better, he better hey, watch hey, out hey, when it comes to some shorts. Guess who doesn't need a dick enlargement? Not this 65-year-old in a couple years. That a couple. Guy, he was running at about 30 <laughs> yards, a baby's arm, and two small racquetballs popped out of his yeah. spandex I like how you went trousers. racquetball because a racquetball is smooth. And it's got, but it's got a lot of fur things on it. No, 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 that's a tennis ball. Because racquetball, they knew it was coming out. Is, uh, it's got the plastic. No, that's blue. Blue. It's racquetball blue is blue. Yeah. It's oh, smooth. Okay. What about it's squash not a ball? tennis ball? Squash you, ball, too, that, maybe. Well, a, squash, a squash ball is a dead ball. You're, when you get hit by those, it fucking hurt. That's yeah, a question like a I don't think anybody's ever asked. Why does tennis and racket ball use two different balls? That's easy. That's dumb. Well, there's three balls. you got a tennis ball, you have a racket ball, and you have a squash ball. Squash ball is dead. <laughs> it's designed for precision. Oh, God. God. You go, go. Let's go play You're racquetball. Gonna, you are going to be the 65 year old dude playing racquetball that showers completely naked and compliments young 25 year old men on their glutes in the bathroom. You disgust. You I'm do bald, that. Baby. I do that now. I'm 43. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to wait till I'm 65 to compliment men on their physique. Well, moving on, moving on. In no. other headlines, two elderly men sneak out of a nursing home to attend heavy metal festival. Amazing. Yeah, it was in Germany. So there, these old two old dudes, elderly, obviously, 
sneak out, and then they get like they go to this uh, festival that's like seventy five thousand fucking people. With the headliners were Danzig, Judas Priest, Hatebreed, and In Flames. Hatebreed and yeah. In Flames. Yeah, like <laughs> no joke. I don't know who these old assholes are, but they're my heroes. This they week. sound well, what? Wait, so if you're put- I'm getting I'm getting a good note from Dave right here, and these one or full two police officers uh, would like a photo. So I think we just take a mid show yeah, quick selfie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So absolutely. they can go back to we'll just, uh, protecting and serving. Are you guys right down with that? Yep. Yeah, we'll this will do- be a mid-show photo. <laughs> we can we can blur the. Uh, we'll just like blur this if they don't want to be on camera. Yeah, that's fine. It's easy. And they're going to get the worst selfie ever with us right now. Hopefully, they, they like don't know any of the people that pulled me out of Applebee's the other day. <laughs> you guys can come behind because I was in trouble. <sighs> I can't remember. Is weed legal here or not? <laughs> it is not legal. Um, do we have any illegals this uh, no, week? No. Nice. I like this. We'll just sneak over here. Dave, do you want to take a photo? Mary oh, Beth. Mary Beth's got it. Okay. We're going to take a little break from the podcast. Hey, brother Matt. Sorry for the, uh, the tire day. Let's sneak one in. Let's go. San Antonio's finest? Oh, Highway Patrol. Got it. <laughs> hey, do you guys have cards so we don't have to get speeding tickets and shit? <laughs> Pleasure. Thanks for being by, guys. Okay, back to some fake news. We had it. That was real news. Now we're going. That back was to real the news. Fake news. They mattered more than news. us talking into a I microphone. I definitely was pulled out of an Applebee's this weekend. Were you really? Yes, I was. I was. Uh, you fell asleep, didn't no, you? Did you no, walk into the women's restroom again? I took the car behind the trampoline uh, place and was doing some uh, some rally driving with my father. Oh. And the police were called, and I parked right next to, uh, right, right near there at Applebee's, and, you know, did you they, get in trouble? I mean, I got a stern talking to for him. skullduggery. Yeah, you deserved it. Yeah, y- you and it's said fine. other individual are are very interesting in the fact that you do donuts once in a while in an overtly branded um, Ford Focus, you know, smart car. Yeah, it's not a smart car. It's pretty it's much not a, smart a smart car. car. No, it is. It's got that silver stick that you pull, and it goes. Burr! That doesn't mean smart. That is a cool. drift stick. Thank you. A hydraulic e-brake. <sighs> yes. It's Send electric. Me. Though. It's Back to space. our two old Send men. To yes. Two old men sneaking out. Here's, here's yeah. one thing, though. That's us like, when we're old. If you're an old sure. man, are you really sneaking out? I mean, you've, you've, you've opted into putting yourself in a nursing home. N- actually, no. The, normally, the families are like, get your right. old ass in that nursing home. I will say. Yeah, but that's not fair. These two would be my drinking bro of the week. Because if I'm stuck in a freaking whatever um, nursing home and I get to sneak out with my buddy, like, hey, I'm like, Dan, there's an In Flames concert right Fuck down yeah, the road. Dude. Let's go. And yeah. Yeah, we, we would definitely going. I mean, going. I would, would walk out the front that. door and they're like, where are you going? To the concert. What a fucking cool... Fuck off. What they a got cool found, concert, They discovered though. them at 3 a.m. These motherfuckers were going in the hard in the paint. Yeah, they'd been going for a while by then. You yeah, but, but, but... Like, who sends a search party out for two I don't know. Guys? They got a police escort back to the nursing home, apparently. They deserve epic. one. It's epic. Did yeah. you see the lineup? Danzig, Judas Priest, Judas Hate Priest, Breed, in and Inflames. Inflames. That's Inflames. a good concert, yeah. One of my, my favorite yeah, of I all love time. Inflames I've open seen, for all that remains for a while. I, I saw Inflames and uh, Lamb of God together not too long ago. Take Amazing this concert. live. Yeah. I'm right. I'm just. Here. I. I am more on the fence of. If I get put in a nursing home, you're not keeping me there if I don't want to be. I'm well, a, I mean, if I'm you're like, adult. if you're like infinity years old and your bones are about to break, I can still pull a trigger, my man. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna shoot your way out of a fucking nursing I home, might. Jared. You would try to fuck the nurses. Let's be real. I, all right, uh, paint me the picture of what these nurses okay, are like. Okay, so like, when well, they bend over, this is kind of what their buttons look like. Sir, you have to have your medication for the day, and titties flop in your face. Yeah, but you know, like titties really aren't that my thing, you know? So I'd be like, eh, whatever. What are you into? Okay, their dicks flop in your face. No, I Ew. Don't what don't do dicks? that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're hard dicks, so they're gonna make you hungry. Whoa, whoa, yeah. All right, now this is taking it. Ten as a dong. Mm. <laughs> that dong. Why? All right, Dan, a girl uh, needs to do. You had an interesting yeah, uh, dong song. Yeah, dong I like song. that. How has that not happened? You had a, 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 an interesting headline. Uh, <laughs> the answer all fucked up for like this a- thing. Uh, what's going on with the government and immigration? What's 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 this all about? Immigration. So. Uh, a source from HSI, which is Homeland Security Investigation, which is part of ICE, right, uh, has leaked <laughs> documents showing that the U.S. government has been tracking journalists and immigration advocates through a secret database. 
Hmm. Uh, this is reported by NBC San Diego. So, uh, is, so let's just read this description. Yeah. The documents detail an intelligence gathering effort by the United States and Mexican authorities targeting more than 50 people, including journalists, an attorney, and immigration advocates. It appears that the U.S. and Mexican governments work together here to track and collect intelligence on journalists and attorneys who are involved in the caravan. Wow. I fully support that. Hmm. I don't, and here's why. The next thing the guy says, and this is a source from HSI... We are a criminal investigative investigation agency. We're not an intelligence agency. We can't create dossiers on people, and they're creating dossiers. It's an abuse of the border search authority. So, but that's like saying, like, like, <clears throat> well, that person has a flat tire. I'm going to help them change their flat tire. That's like saying, well, that's not my job. I'm not going to do it. No, that's not. What no, it's that's saying. not at all. They're talking about a federal mandate <laughs> in the Constitution, Baker. Anyone assisting a caravan trying to reach our borders should be investigated. But that's not. That's they're not, not assisting. That, they're not assisting. They're out. just saying if they're you assisting. were a journalist that was covering the caravan, all of a sudden you're getting dug into. Yeah, that's not. I mean, anytime the government. This, let's flip this on a different subject and let's flip it on you know, a, a right leaning subject or something like that, that any reporter that's supporting like that, that's that's let's say let's say a reporter that supported Kavanaugh that said, hey, this is bullshit that a left leaning government agency in Southern California is now digging into that reporter yeah. like that. The Obama administration up. taught him how to do it. Super fucked up. That's what about ism. We're not talking about the Obama. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You you just pulled a left move right yeah, there. You just Fuck pulled that. up. A, no, you pulled up no. a fantasy. You you pulled up a you fantasy. You just pulled up. You just did exactly what we talked about yesterday. Where a but but you can imagine if I did. That's yeah. exactly what you just it's did. It's what about ism and it's nonsense, Baker. No, it's actual facts. No, it's not. That's not a fact. It's Look, alternate facts. Anytime the alternate facts. Anytime the government <laughs> uses its authority and power to fuck with and investigate journalists. I'm really uncomfortable with that. What if they're fuckbag journalists? And what determines what a journalist is and what a journalist isn't? Um, like, where's the line? A, that's that's a good question. Yeah. Press credentials. Because I, I, I think there's, I think there are real journalists out there that do a great job. I there's think, also a couple of fake journalists sitting at this goddamn table. What if right we now. had? Yeah. What if we had Yelp reviews for journalists? Well, Ooh, well God. so that's interesting. You mentioned that because uh, 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 Tesla, who Tesla guy? What's his name? Uh, Musk. Elon Musk. Elon, Elon Musk. Musk was creating an app. Uh, I think it's called not purge, but something with a P that was going to allow people to go in and vet and rate journalists and the amount of stories they put out that are real versus fake. That's so, amazing. Like rate now, my professor, but for journalists, basically. Right. But now what you have is you have a you have uh, so uh, you have journalists and then you have bloggers and then somehow over the past ten years bloggers became accredited journalists and it, it's hard because you know everyone says fake news this fake news that the problem is these fucking Agenda driven hit piece based bloggers give real journalists bad names. No, you're, you, you uh, can't hold on, say that. Let me that. say one more thing. No, yeah, I can say this. There is not a single registered Republican on the Associated Press White House press pool. So there is a bias on the journalism well, frankly, side. Anyone that says there if, isn't is full of shit. If you're a you 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 credit real, real press entities that are doing the same thing. So you can't. Yeah. What does that mean? Like the whole reason why bloggers even got traction was because the real news agencies were being fucking shit. Bags. Yeah, and you, frankly, my opinion is, if you're a journalist, you shouldn't be a registered anything. If oh, I agree. If you're a registered with a political Completely party agree. and you're a journalist, exactly. fuck you, buddy. Yeah. Period. You should be. Like, I'm tired of this horse shit. Your opinion about the fact is not the fact. No, not fuck at all. off with that bullshit. We'll agree on that wholeheartedly. Yeah, you shouldn't even be allowed to vote. Yeah, but I don't think, I think mm, you I'm you kidding. are taking a stance that you're, again, the whole way that, that new media has been lifted, why podcasts are now becoming mm. the, the freaking thing. Right. You don't need a network to tell you that you're good enough to be heard anymore. Well, yeah. Drinking yeah. Bros yes. outperforms, um, if I'm not mistaken, Drinking Bros outperforms any show that CNN has. Any CNN, any ESPN show, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, I think uh, right behind Fox, like Hannity is the top. Because we are a great source for fake news. We are the we real are. fake news. We are a great and, source and we acknowledge for news that and doesn't matter. And you spoke about voting, Baker. So mm -hmm. are you going to vote for Joe Biden because he plans to launch his presidential campaign in April? Wow. Let me give you my theory on Joe Biden. I think that they're actually, I personally think the Democratic Party is completely insane right now. And I think they have no leadership or guidance. However... I think what we're going to see, and we can mark this down and check it when it gets closer to it, I think that Biden is going to be the voice of reason for his party. He's going to be calm. He's not going to engage in banter or any of that stuff, even though he did apologize to Kamala Harris for saying that uh, Mike Pence was a, was a decent human. They got offended by that, but he's going to let Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders, Cory Booker, uh, Lyle Watha, 
um, and all these other extreme left. Liawatha, by the way, that's uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren. Warren. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. That's her. Liawatha. Liawatha. He's going to let yeah. them eat themselves alive, and then it's going to be Biden and Trump. Biden is going to do exactly what Trump did in the last election cycle, which is talk shit a little bit. Biden. Yeah. He's no. he's a he's a jokester, man. He's always doing stuff behind. He's the scenes. He's a touchy feely. Uh, a little bit, yeah. That is true. If you see him with those edits of him, like touchy feeling people, kids. it's it's, super it's weird. fucking. He loves weird. a shoulder yeah. and he loves a breast. And wasn't he the gentleman that said, uh, if someone comes in your house, you just have to rack a shotgun, shoot a shoot shotgun round air. up in the yes. air, and no, he said shoot through the door. I think no, that no, window. Said, sh- he said shoot off the porch, shoot up. cut, yeah. cut bar- both barrels loose. That's impressive because yeah. that's very illegal to well, discharge a firearm. Yep. But hey, you know. Yeah. Fuck the rules. But yeah. rules. here's the thing about Biden that, yeah. that's interesting rules. is that like Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton, their entire lives have been in the public sector. So is his. He became a congressman. Biden, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He, he, Joe Biden became a congressman at 29 years old. That's the only job he's ever had. Right. He, he was, wow. so was a congressman, became a senator, and then became vice president. It's the only job he's ever had. Okay, I want to get past politics because number eight's really interesting to me, but we will touch on seven um, real quick. Yeah. Cowboy Cerrone and Conor McGregor, who were supposed to fight on the 413, apparently Conor won't agree because he doesn't want to be a co-main event. Yeah, he want, he thinks he's just still That's the main your expertise, event. I, honestly, yeah. I agree with him. I, I do, too. He's such a draw for him to be a co-main yeah. event. It's ridiculous. But if they, uh, if him and Cerrone don't fight, it's going to be a sad panda day for me because that's yeah. going to be fucking fireworks. Co-main event yeah. with who? That I don't they know. They didn't say yet. Unless well, if you had to make a guess, Dave, you're, you're pretty you, knowledgeable. Can you click on that? Yeah, link? but it's like, yeah. What, what is it? Is it really that big a deal to just give Connor his own main event? Like, come on, you're bringing, you're you filling, you're filling the me, fucking stadium. To again. me, it seems like Dana's doing a power play here, honestly, because trying why, to cut yeah, cut his fucking dick a off bit, a little bit. Yeah. Or maybe but, he sees Connor's swan song as races already run. It's not though, because we're sitting no, here talking about will, it. Yeah, we want to watch him fight. There is a reason why Khabib. Got a million dollars less for that fight, even though he was the goddamn champion already, right? Yeah. Like, there's a reason. So, Khabib was guaranteed know two million, name. and Connor was. Uh, that's the thing. That's I don't name. know Khabib's name. Yeah. I know Connor McGregor's. And name. he also is a boring ass fighter. Nobody wants to watch him anymore. Yeah. Oh, don't say that. He's, he's like a gorilla sorry. bear. He, he's he's boring as fuck, Matt. You if know? He's, he's, he's never boring to you out. and Ross that just like to see fucking fireworks and hit yeah. people in the face. Like if you can appreciate Listen, a ground game, it's, it's wonderful. That he doesn't talk more shit. He can't. He doesn't know how to talk. Yeah. So he knows how to talk. Not really. He just doesn't speak English. Well, <laughs> yeah. But so let me tell you my take on the on Khabib. I thought it was very entertaining because I had. I talked to Matt at length about it. I watched it at Matt's house. I talked to Justin Governale about it. I talked to uh, GW about it. Some other people, they said, here's what we think is going to happen. Here's why it's going to happen. Watch for these things. So it was very similar to me for the, the Conor Mayweather fight because I cannot watch a pro boxing match and it, tell exactly what the fuck's going on. I don't know that much about boxing, but it slowed it down so much that I was able to observe it and watch what they were doing in different strategies. Same with Khabib. It's like, God damn, he's just holding him still. He's not breathing hard. Conor McGregor's breathing out of his fucking ears because he's so tired. I mean, it, it was... Well, it goes it, back to it. like the Tim Kennedys when people say Tim was boring, but it's just like he just shuts you down on every level and he just makes a grown-ass man look like a little beta yeah. bitch. So it's, it's impressive. Like chess is boring, but it's also impressive. And Jared's going to love number eight No, here. no, no. Let's roll back to Paul Manafort. He's okay. being sentenced today. Yeah, it hasn't that's, come out yet. Look that up, Dave, and see if he's been sentenced yet. Something that uh, Baker and Dan can speak on. This guy's a turd. I find it outrageous. What what is outrageous? What they're asking, what they're trying, what they're they're asking for nineteen to twenty five years for white collar crime that happened back in the in the two thousand. Yeah, but do you even believe like we should be calling anything a white collar crime? No, absolutely no, no. no. That yeah. is just Someone, that is just absurd to say. Yeah. Oh, white collar crime! You should get a light. You should get a light sentence, and you yeah. should do that. Like, well, you, you if you walk into no. a no, fucking, because you know what we've been victim of certain white collar crimes. Yeah. So no. to to see if, uh, officials and people like that of somebody that blatantly broke the law mm-hmm. or blatantly stole or blatantly committed he didn't fraud. pay taxes i'm just saying no he did way more than not pay taxes come on he, he defrauded banks the government and then tax it was well. this is a, a hit I, I think he's a piece of shit yeah. i'll say that he's but, obviously I, think, a piece of shit. but I, hold on, I think we are a country of laws and when you start to flex and bend laws and you have a special counsel that has no regulation whatsoever uh bob miller currently is the most powerful man in this country hands down because he, he doesn't answer to anyone. He can do whatever he wants. He has an unlimited budget. And I think when you start to bend the laws and the rules that this make this country great, what's the next law and rule they're willing to bend to go after someone? There's a process, and I think you've got to follow it. That being said, I think Manafort's a piece of shit. Okay, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about with all that shit, but this guy 
defrauded a lot of people of a lot of goddamn money. Nobody, you know, nobody from the fucking uh, bank stuff back in the day, the not, too big to fail thing. Not one of them went to jail. Not one single bank not exec one person went spent went to a jail. night in jail. I was bringing this up yesterday. The guy, the guy that that ordered the freaking Challenger space shuttle launch, even though they knew that it was going to blow up, why isn't he in jail? Where yeah. is he right now? Yeah, exactly. Let's well, go. He's probably find him. dead by now. No, he's no definitely still alive. Mm. He would have been an engineer in his fifties or sixties in the in the mid eighties. He can't be still alive. He now. might not be still alive. We yeah. will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> after we're, yep, yep, after we're gonna get, your math, we're yeah. gonna get back to that. <laughs> we'll find out if he's still alive. Well, still, maybe he's transitioned uh, to like transition. I know is that a, a few years ago. Oh, a yeah, few years so, yeah. ago, it did come out the the engineer uh, that did report that hey, these these O rings are freezing right now yeah. and they're not going to work. Uh, he was told by the head of the launch that you know everybody's scheduled to be here. We we got to do it anyway. Yeah. yeah, let's go kill a bunch of scientists I've, and a I've, fucking I feel like space I may have been on imagine, sad. imagine that decision sad. was made without anybody telling you. Imagine not just like, the, not I would be mad because I'd be you, dead, yes, but if I was the yeah. family members, I would be real imagine fucking Imagine you hear that off. about your father later. later yeah. Well, astronauts then, are you know. special people. Yeah, how, how, much, how much did it take I, to train that motherfucker? You that, that, I'll is give astronaut a race? They are brave as fuck. I think it's very similar to like going to a war zone as an astronaut because the consequences of any mi- like minor yeah. miscalculation or mistake, death, death, getting death. up there death. isn't death hard. Death in space. Getting back though, that's a fucking flip of a coin. The whole floating around. I, shit. I guarantee those motherfuckers were drunk because if I was coming in approach and I'm going through the atmosphere, I'd be like, let's go a little. Well, oh, space I would drugs bring up. a bunch of. Booze. Guarantee they made their own space drugs. Oh no, space drugs. Space well, why would? Why would they have to make space drugs? They're like the fucking highest scientists in this we've ever yeah. developed. No, what I'm saying is they can make whatever they want. They can probably yeah. take like a twisty straw and some water and make a phenomenal drug. Say yeah. what? A, a, what? Twisty a twisty straw, straw and, and some water. And water. Water. Mm. Water. Water. Yeah. How do you say wash? Do you say wash instead of wash? Like no, that, 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 that's, that's a Washington thing, wash I think. Wash. Yeah. wash. Wash is really fucking wash. I'll tell you what's water. worse than that. The worst word I know oh, is when Jesus. people say, yeah, we're going to go down to the crick. Oh, I don't what like that. What the fuck's a crick? I don't like that. We heard a lot of that in Washington. Yeah. No, it's down by the it's crick. A Cal- it's a Northern California. Spell you just said Washington. You didn't say Washington. 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 You are, you're Washington. one of them. No. You're fake news. You We're are all fake news. Holy shit, you just got called out for being fake, fake news. news. God Jeez damn. Louise. Baker the bald baby is fake news. This Speaking is, of fake yeah, news. This is fucking crazy, and I guarantee this is across the board on, on anything that we're eating for the most part. It says fish Agreed. fraud. Fish fraud. Uh, what's on the menu often isn't what's on your plate. DNA tests have showed that 21% of fish researchers sampled what, uh, 21, yeah, whatever, was not what it was called on the label or the menu. Sea bass was mislabeled 55% of the time, and snapper was 42% of the time. That's, that's I hate to do this, but I've got to admit that Jared might be on to something. I wish I had glasses on so I could somberly take them off and look into the camera and say, God fucking That's crazy. Damn it. Often <laughs> in, often instead of sea bass, they get giant perch or Nile tilapia. That is so disgusting. Fish that would be like, less expensive and considered lower quality. Dover sole what the fuck is Dover sole? The so, fact that you're people eating did perch not write this or Nile tilapia. And I'll tell you what else they that is forgot disgusting. to put. A lot of the times when you're eating scallops, you're actually eating uh, stingray. What is a Dave no, Google lavender holes. job fish? Because that's yeah, that gets substituted for Florida Isn't snapper. Job what the fuck fish is like a job really, fish? really ugly fish. It I've never sounds, even heard of that. It sounds disgusting. Lost fish. I'm just saying. No. I've been bringing this up for months now. The government is hiding the fish problem. It's it's not, it does. Thirty five percent of wild caught is actually farmed raised. Yeah. It, this is this goes back to the organic thing. Mm. Organic is the biggest fucking fake bullshit ever because. There, what, what defines Looks organic? Like a hokey fish. What oh, defines there's, organic? There's legal terms now. Like it's spent yeah, a, a two weeks out the pasture. But they are loosey pussy hot yeah, yeah. dog in a hallway terms, man. Yeah, yeah. like it's ridiculous. <clears throat> nah. But it's it, it's funny to see that the brand position of everything across the board to include dog food. It's why like companies like Blue Buffalo Blue Buffalo got acquired for so much money is because they're they're just using the same products but using craft bag and really nice packaging, yeah. increasing the price point. So your psychological thought process is wow, this is a more quality product, and it's pretty much the same shit. And then they'll they'll reference things that grain free. Well, no shit, the ingredients are grain free. It's fucking crazy, but I then like, everybody's buying into it. It's why Whole Foods has done so well. Here, but it's also because people are projecting they have celiac. Oh, I've got celiac. No, you don't. 
Hey, know, listen, I'm the first guy that says you should eat a really – what you eat is what you are. I'm all about it. But it's so – they're so misrepresented in all this stuff that yeah, you actually real. don't know what the fuck you're Here's getting. Here's the part that actually speaks to Jared's point. Endangered Atlantic halibut is like 25% of it. One out of every four fish is actually – uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, Pacific halibut is actually uh, Atlantic halibut, which is endangered. So basically, they're still overfishing Atlantic halibut, and they're just when they package it to they're avoid prosecution, it. they yeah. label it another way. I'm shocked that the number's so low, That's man. I thought up. it'd be a lot higher than 21. percent What's what's the the definition of cage free? Because that's another one for me. When you see like H E B cage free eggs, like twelve for a dollar ninety nine. Where are the chickens like, if they're not in a cage? They're in a bigger cage. That's I a think barn? I think it's one of those things. Like the sun has to hit them in a certain time of the day, and then they get to like run five feet, and that's considered cage free. I'm wow. making this up because it's, it's like fake prison news. when they get like an hour out in the yard a day. That's I think that's what free. it is. Let's see. Cage frame claim on the egg carton label means it that does hens not were mean not confined that they had to access ah, to the outdoors. Mm-hmm. There you go, Matt. It does not mean that the hens had access to the outdoors. Yep, yeah, they're okay. Laying hens are granted just enough space to stand upright. That's for yeah. a normal hen, but for cage free, it means they have more space. Well, than technically, that. look at all those chickens. That. Yeah, those are like. And guess who owns all those chickens, gents? Brazil. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Ninety four percent of commercial eggs in the U.S. are not cage free, which means they're like that. They're just standing uh, a millimeter away, like that. Brazil. Well, do you ever think about this? Like, let's just look at like Terminator, like Salvation, and all these things where the robots are using us, right? Mm-hmm. To as as biofuel, essentially. We that's we, not we, Terminator. That's a Matrix. Well, the Matrix as well, right? No, Terminator. They never used us. They just wanted to exterminate. Okay, us. Yeah. that's fair. Yeah. You're right. I misspoke. It's fake news. This it's is fine. awesome. I can Matrix, say whatever I though. want. But you the matrix, matrix, for instance, like yeah. that's what we've done to other species. We just cage them and use yeah. them for fuel, like live fuel, pretty which much, is yeah. pretty rad in my opinion. But I can see why some vegans could get pissed he off. But it's hilarious. To me. You know, I mean, it's the motto of the essay. We have it's called it's like genetic stratification, right? It's like social stratification, but yeah. we're just the hierarchy in the the we the, have the we species haven't found pool. a way to harness the power of sharks yet. Matt, as they like P- to say, do something what? about it. <laughs> P- please expand. Jared. I'm just saying, there's a lot of power and energy inside sharks, and we have not we've completely ignored it as an energy source because it's like you want to harvest the least sharks? efficient source of energy of all time. How do you know? Because it's motion. We've energy. never put in any sort of research and development into technology that could harvest energy from sharks. Um, I mean, that's not actually directly. not true at all. Have you How ever had? You know? Have you ever had fin I'm soup? I'm just saying, it's like, real good. You look at the ocean. And you got waves, right? Those oh, waves are going man. every day, oh, every minute, every hour. Why haven't we developed anything that makes power out of the waves? We I don't have know. We that. We have, we have, yeah, there's turbines. We're not turbines, using it that bro. much. There's water turbines. Why is fucking California pulling power from everybody else then? They got all these waves. I want to know why California <laughs> wastes all that rainwater. <laughs> Who? California's not pulling Do you know power what's illegal yeah, they in take California? It from Colorado. To capture rainwater? Yeah. Yes, Isn't that it fucking is. great? Yeah, it's it's illegal to fucking put a solar panel on your roof in pretty much all 50 states. What? No, not not Texas. Not Texas. Yeah. I don't think so. I said pretty much. Pr- what it defined mm. pretty much. Yeah. Zero percent of states, it's illegal to put a solar panel <laughs> on your fucking roof <laughs> without the proper permit. I love Jared's eyes. He's just like, <laughs> let me without let me the proper permit. He's, he's panicking right now because he knows he's an idiot. Speaking of panicking, <laughs> let's move on to number nine because I think I'd panic in that situation. Oh, yeah, the SpaceX crew Dragon capsule, which is the one that their manned aircraft uh, is getting ready to to come back from its first test mission, and the next one is I there think, anybody in it? Uh, I don't know. I, I, Dave, they can just, you pull that article? Up? I don't think there's anybody in, in it. But this is gonna. So right now, NASA relies on Russia to get our astronauts back and forth from the International Space Station. Um, and now we could subsidize that. From now we'll SpaceX. be able. To, now we'll be able to do it ourselves. Um, so this has actually been coming for some time now, but I think, hmm. Jared, you have an announcement to make about this issue. Yeah. Uh, Drinking Bros is starting our own space program. Yeah. Oh, we are? Yeah. Yes. Who's financing it? Uh, there's a number of, uh, it's of backers. Financed. Yeah, yeah, that's privately financed. They, ref- they, they would like to not be named, yeah. um, but they will be named later on. Elon uh, Musk is not one of them. He's not, no. During a Christmas party, they had very specific requests. It was actually 14 pages of requests. But uh, we are putting Gary Busey... Head uh, scientist, yeah. ...in charge as our head engineer and scientist. 
Baker or Dan, I'm curious. So, like, let's look at SpaceX. If you could go to... <laughs> Why'd you whip out your fucking pen that got me? <laughs> he just started Listen, writing he's making notes. notes for started important announcements. Hey, look at all my fucking notes! <laughs> uh, would you go to space, like, on SpaceX? If you could just go up and orbit a couple yes, times, spend 10 days yeah. in space. Let's 10 just say days? It was a lot of time days. in space. 85 success rate. So it's a B-plus average yep. on getting back home safe. Do you or do you not, at the age of 45 or less, go on that? Ex- Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would. I yeah. love I love science and space. That would be the best thing that ever happened to me. I just want, I, I want would, the selfie where I could be squeezing the earth yeah. and pinching it. Like I don't think I you're wanna, gonna be. A, I'd like to give my it. answer now to you in its entirety. Well, um, hold on. Have you seen that picture that uh, I can't remember which astronaut it was, but he took a, basically a selfie of himself and he said, "Everybody that's ever existed is in this picture right now, dead or alive." And it's a picture of himself with the earth in the background. That's, that's pretty heavy. Dope. That's, that's heavy. fucking rad as fuck, isn't it? Yeah, but one of those continents wasn't visible, so I mean, it's kind of inaccurate. What? Do you know how continents work? <laughs> Here's my answer. And hemispheres. Wait, can you make it Reader's Digest version though? Because you said it was going to be yeah. Don't long. go just like Reader's Digest. There's going to yeah, be a price to pay for now. Your weird. Like you've already been you've already been outed as fake news on this. Yeah. Here's my answer. Like, no you better you better bring you. back some credibility. Here's my answer. Fuck no. Really? You're not going? Hell, ten fucking days. Fuck no. Who's got ten, ten days? days? What if you were a billionaire and it was either get a dick no. enhancement or go to space? Where are you at? Would I have a cell signal? Sixty-five. Yeah, you, signal? Can, you can. You can. Yeah, sack you have. Yeah, so how do you think they communicate back and forth? They have Wi-Fi. Yeah, you're pretty Radio much waves. next to the satellite that creates cellulars. Okay, hold on. Hold on. How big is the capsule? No, that is that is the that, hundred and sixty-five foot yacht. It's comfortable. Baker. Oh fuck yeah! yeah. Abs- oh yeah, I'm with you. We'll go together. Baker, this is. Can we bring some bitches? And yes. This, yeah. No, 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 you no, got no, a fucking no, no, space. No. no. This has anybody plan. admitted to fucking in space? There's they actually yeah. Dave. There's actually a uh, there Google that shit. There's a suit you can put on that's made specifically for keeping two people together. So it's it's like a, it's a onesie, big ass onesie, and on this side of yours. Uh, is hook side and on this side of theirs is pile side and they reverse on the other side and it keeps you to, from floating apart while you're fucking. Interesting. Uh, no, isn't that what the what, space onesie? That's what that's you search what you for. You Google, Dave. God damn, dude. You need the worst. Google search classes. Th- this is my play for you, Baker. You're a single guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, ish. You know. Sort of. Imagine Sometimes. your Tinder game. If you swiped right, you there super like somebody. The and two suit. The chick writes back nope. and goes. Oh my God! What are you up to tonight? And he goes, "Sorry, girl, I can't hang until next Tuesday. I'm in space." And then you send her a selfie from space. You're getting anal the first night. What if I I pull up Bumble and it, which geolocates where you are, and I, yeah. get, I get alien action. You get alien oh. bumbles, dude. What oh if my you, God! What if you pulled up? Swipe right for. <laughs> what that if was you, like an alien. And then what if you sucks. found out that you were like, "Oh, I just banged this alien." And it was like, "Oh, it's an alien, dude." So what? Who Whatever. Cares? It's you not got, the same species. If you're you fine. if you meet the first alien, male or female, you got to fuck it. Yeah. What if what that if, th- that is a that is a goddamn great point. Yeah. What if, what if point, the yeah. alien it though is. it had a hole like a vagina and you're like got this. You just dig her out. You, you dig her out with her little you know green and mucus like a like a squid. And you find out that the females have the holes or the males have the holes. Still good. You good? Yeah. I well, mean, no, on, but, because but, that but doesn't count. Do you, because how do we you, define what a female male is, and if the male had a hole, hey, we just call. Let it me a ask female. you this, Dave. Can you Google and say do astronauts take condoms to space with them? What if you and pulled up Bumble what and it was only you one finish, person there? Do you there catch it like a little bag or something? Like, goes, oh no, there's this cum floating around everywhere. Yeah, there's no way that guy. So some of those of dudes spend 18 months on the ISS. There's no way there's yeah. not just no. floating around. Yeah, everywhere. but there's no there, hold on, there's no gravity. So uh, does that affect friction? That gives there's that gives limited the, gravity. But can the friction? I mean, sex like, in space. Not not that because it would be uh, it's it's uh, relativity. So you're you're traveling at the same speed as the air and the like. You're in geosynchronous orbit. You're traveling at that speed. That's why yeah. when you're on but can an air- you get the Wait, friction? That's why when you're on an yes. airplane, when you jump up in the air, you don't fly to the back of the plane because you're you, the <clears> air, the plane are all traveling at the same speed, right? So yeah, I've you could definitely always get wondered that. I, I'll tell you this. I'll gu- I will guarantee you. So NASA, very thorough. I guarantee you. You say that- NASA? NASA. NASA. I guarantee you they have books on, on masturbation and pleasure Kowalski in space analysis. that all <laughs> yeah. astronauts have to read. No, there's definitely SOPs for Has how to ejaculate. Anyone in space? had sex? Of course, in space. Of because course. remember the astronaut that drove from Corpus Christi all oh, the yeah, way to and Florida a diaper, yeah. and wore a diaper. S- Listen, I- I'm a sext, like you know, I- it's my thing. You're so it's sexton. Su- it's sexton. It's super easy. The, the astronaut thing? gets on the on the ground. He kind of holds on to like perfect push up things that are suction cupped in the ground, and the female astronaut sits up top. Can and you goes, just search? Has this. anyone had sex in space? That's how you do it? 
Can you imagine being the first? caught a nut in space? And because you know they videoed it. Gives the whole you new know they videoed it. Can you imagine things. a sex tape from like it's a scandal from the International Space Station? Oh, that's so funny. But it's not a scandal. I don't know why sex tapes are scandals. No, they're awesome. Like, why did we decide that like having sex is a scandal? Like, oh, he banged his secretary. Did you see his secretary? She's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's hit that cli- the crime corner, the blotter, the let's, police blotter. Let's, let's see if anybody's fucked in space first. But yeah, yeah, I wonder, yeah. that would be a very interesting study about reproduction in space. So if you got someone fucking pregnant the in zero gravity. two mile high club. Baker, are you fucking listening or just talking? Um, I was uh, distracted by the fact they call it the 62 mile high club. Instead that of is, if you're okay. part of the 62 mile high club, that's, that's legit. Yeah, it's what, do you, what do you think about that, Dan? Because the, the, the baby or the, the fetus has not been introduced to gravity before. Yeah, I wonder rough. what the complications would be from zero gravity and then landing on earth to a yeah. unborn fetus let's say third trimester i mean i don't know how long it would uh, i'm seriously curious about that you're, you're, you're not labor. really you're huh? not would, well, it, would it initiate labor induce would labor, labor maybe be easier yeah, maybe. zero gravity there's a there's a question you think it still hurts yeah that's a massive turd I had a baby. That's not the sound it or the place come it comes from. No. Yeah. no. The Babies. tubal pregnancy comes from the anus. That's a fact. <laughs> what is that? What did he just say? Tubal pregnancy? T- you've heard of like tubal pregnancy? Nope. That's, that's in the butt. No. Google it. Don't, don't no, Google don't it. No, don't Google that because it. it's going to be weird. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you. Now <laughs> we will go to a new segment on the fake news we call Crime Corner with Baker. Oh no! All right, his, no, Matt, we got S- some goodies. These are Send some really fun again, uh, little ditties that yeah. came up. Baker, what do you week? got for Crime Corner today? A woman walking through the parking lot of the Viridian Heights big box store did a double take the morning of July the thirteenth, but wished she hadn't seen what she saw the first time. She told a deputy inside about a man in the vehicle, nude from the waist down, uh, watching adult porn on his dashboard. Um, the man who had not committed a crime uh, was uh, the police. Wait. That's not a crime? To sit in the car with your pants off and watch porn? No. With his dick out? Well, I mean, he didn't have pants on. Was he going to put his dick in his butt? <laughs> yeah, but that's, isn't that public yeah, nudity? Yeah, but no, no, because in you're in car. your car. Okay. I guess you could see your car Especially as your domicile. Especially in states like Washington, your car is considered your house. Yeah, yeah castle laws, so, yeah. I mean, you know, so it's interesting because the cops just, you know, just said, hey, man, beat it. Ha. Huh. Uh, no, I, I don't. Oh. No. What else you got for Crime Corner, Baker? I don't, I don't think that's real. It is absolutely real. I, I screenshot the damn this is headline. The, this is the fake news. No. But uh, an Oak Hill community news. couple discovered a thief in their home Saturday night after a man told a joke and heard laughs upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the joke was? It had to be, it had to be risque. I Risk. mean, if it was, it, it was funny enough for a guy to expose himself that's during, what, yeah. in the middle of a robbery, basically. A or, corroboree. A what? A corroboree. Yeah. Do you think that there's when ever been a home robbery, robbery that no. turned into yeah. <laughs> yes. sex yeah. with the wife and husband? Absolutely. Oh, I hope so, because oh, yeah. those are some of my favorite porns. Really? Oh, I love it. I, that's like, for him, it's vacation porn. For me, so, it's like burglary so porn. So it'd be like home invasion turns into vagina invasion. Yeah. Uh, wow. I don't know about the word invasion. That seems really aggressive. Yeah, it does. Maybe he that was just looking more around like a something. border border <laughs> porn scenario or something like that. Uh, <laughs> this next one that happened on Friday <laughs> in Mountain View, California, which is Dan is a very wealthy neighborhood. It's a, yeah, it's super. It's like uh, just north of Palo Alto, so yeah. it's super. Okay. So the police received a report of a newborn infant found in a trash can. Upon investigation, oh, no. the officers discovered it was a large burrito. That's real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, damn, who threw away an infant? That's a fucking like piece of shit. sounds like something I would do. A little burrito. You wouldn't what? throw away a burrito. No, was it I Chipotle? Wouldn't. Well, was no, it? I would because no, what I would be do like, is I would have ordered two thinking that I needed two and then got through that one. The Burrito like, California is like, what, three or four pounds? Yeah, you big. Burrito things. California. Yeah. They're yeah. big. I mean, I don't know if it's big as a fucking baby. I mean, if where, four where, pounds is a baby. No. I mean, yeah. a, a preemie maybe, but most babies are between like six Yeah, and I mean, what pounds. type of full-born baby is going to be born in a Walmart? I mean, normally a preemie is going to pop out in a Walmart. I don't know. Uh, what's her name? Natalie Portman did that one movie where she had a baby in Walmart. Black Swan? I don't think it was a Black Swan. I think it was called... <laughs> I love that uh, movie. God damn Really? Yeah, especially... Oh, fuck the, yeah. There was a sex scene with Mila yeah, Kunis and fucking Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Love that movie? Natalie Portman. That's, that's my busted thing. busted up-ass dogs. How about this I never saw one? that movie. I had no clue it existed. Blaine, Na- Idaho. I yep. always thought Natalie Portman was hot, and then I saw that... Saturday Night Live shit she did yeah. the rap song it's so cool. that made her so much so hotter cool. like I don't, I don't even I don't what know what was that movie she did with the guy with the mask sorry the guy with the mask what was that movie Star Wars oh no, <laughs> no. Uh, 
Vendetta. 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 Yeah, Vendetta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good movie yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, that was. A, I need to watch that. It's a good flick. Uh, yeah. Blaine Idaho. Yeah. Blaine uh, Idaho. A woman at the 1900 block of 129th Lane Northeast reported that someone must have stolen her mail because she did not receive birthday cards from all of her friends. Aw, that's fucking sad. Loser. Let's, let's send her a birthday card, yeah, Dan. Get, Don't be a piece of shit. Send her a birthday card. Did you card. see that thing we did on? I what don't know year if you was saw that? On Drink it, bros. Like. This year, mean? I mean, no one sends mail anymore. People send mail. That's send, asking a lot. So I send. A there was a guy. There was a guy up north in uh, Wichita Falls, Texas. Right, like that the old North guy. Pole. No, bitch, North Texas. You said North. Mm. Where Santa Can Claus you hit lives. Him hard, please. Where Santa Claus lives. Uh, he, um, no. So there was this old World War II veteran. Yes. Yeah, we saw. And that. he wanted like a hundred birthday cards for his birthday or whatever the fuck. Well, uh, Drinker Bros got involved. Uh, Slut Whisper Carell got involved. A couple yeah. other people out in the community, and this dude got like thousands of letters. Yeah, it's taken up his whole house. Yeah, it's, it's almost inconvenient. There's some pictures on the internet's there of him, and it's like veteran birthday cards. Yeah, yep. Is that yeah, real? That's him. Yeah. The problem is, is people always <laughs> Photoshop those signs to to whatever they want them to be. They're not real. Half I like the it time. when they say roast me. It's Wichita Falls. I don't understand the roast me. Uh, it's like making me make fun of the person. Yeah, yeah, I get it, but like, why? Yeah, there it is, right there. He's. That's crazy. That's is that Photoshop? Photoshop that looks so Photoshopped. Looks that's, that's not a real picture. picture. It looks like not my a real picture. sister's kids did that. What the fuck? Yeah. There we go. There's yeah. There yeah, there it is. is. Okay, that'll work. That's one of them. That dog will hunt. And look at that. Nice and organized. Yeah, but look, he's probably like, man, I just want to sit down. Hmm. i got to open all these things. This was uh, yesterday at 6, 12 p.m. The 4700 block of Portside Drive in Vermilion, Vermont, a uh, man put Icy Hot on his wife's vibrator. Uh, and the divorce mean. is currently pending. Oh, she called the cops for yeah. that. Was, yeah. it, was it on purpose? Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, they're getting wee. a divorce, and he like lubed up the Is that the really that bad? I've never gotten nah. Icy Hot inside of my body. Before. I have I done. Have. I have, I've had an eczema. Not as bad as Icy Hot, but it's cool. It well, burns. But here's, here's the real question in this. Was it topical? Because it was of a vibrator. You're just touching the clit and the skin around it. Not too bad. Now, was it an actual dildo, mm. a rabbit with dual pleasure mechanisms? Because if that's the case, there's insertion of that product inside now the vaginal cavity, which drastically toy. increases the Expert, pain. Mr. Matt Best. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's definitely I'm something to be sexpert. concerned about. <laughs> you do he own a number of dildos. Sexpert. This is one yeah, of my I favorite. have a yeah. bunch. Well, I did have, I think you I got, got rid of them. There was 18 of them that yeah. we sent for the skit when we were going to do Take Your Pants Off. Yeah, yeah. And then when I moved to Salt Lake City, I found them all and we placed them in the room for Ross. And I put them everywhere. So when he went to sleep, there was dildos in his pillows, under the sheets, all of that. The next day we had maids come by to clean the house and I forgot to put them away. <laughs> and if I've ever seen uh, a terrified face in my day, it was that day. She's like, oh no, totally fine. Sir. It's okay. And I'm like, no, it's a joke. Like it's a skit. She's like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm like, Oh, oh man! So th- there's a story she's gonna tell her. You're grandkids. just digging deeper because you're pointing at a camera. Like it's for the camera. It's for the camera. She's like, it's okay. What if, yeah. she, so what if she goes okay and takes her pants? Yeah. Well, then we're getting some made fuck porn on. Uh, this is one I of like my those favorites. too. By the way, yeah, yep, made porn. Really big I fan. Too. Really yeah, big yeah. fan. Mm. I'm here to clean the house and that cock. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Um, this guy was cited. Uh, it's, the title of this one's called "Failure to Identify." During a disturbance call, a man gave an officer a false name and was arrested after they found out that both of the names had warrants out for them. Mm. This is impressive. Yeah, so yeah. he's he's living his best life then. Absolutely. Really? Wait, yeah. wait, say that again. He gave him a fake name, probably one he's used before, and that fake name also had active Warrant. warrants. <laughs> But really, Whoops. I mean, just come up with more fake names. I've got all kinds. Yeah. What's, what's one right now? No. Give me one. No. No. Come on. My, my first name's Sleeveless, and my second one's Jacket. Oh, and, that's uh, a good one. We're going to close <laughs> it out on a big one. This is Dan's favorite. This is a big one? This is Dan's this favorite. This is a big one, like a oh, big yeah. baby giving um, you a big scoop. Police in Nigeria are holding a goat on suspicion of attempted armed, rod- armed robbery. Mm. The vigilantes seized the black and white goat, saying it was an armed robber who had used black magic to transform himself into an animal to escape after trying to steal a Mazda 323. Finally, some Dave, real fucking news. A spokesman news. for Can police you? in the eastern state of Quara said the goat is in our custody. Vigilantes saw some hoodlums attempting to rob a car. One escaped while the other turned into a goat. Mm, shit. So they got the other guy. Finally some real news. They didn't get the other guy. Oh, I see. Hey, wow. Can you, what's a Mazda 323 three three look 3 like? 3 it's a Mazda, it's a Mazda 6. Three. I don't yeah. fucking know what that means. Yeah, come on, I don't know man. cars. I don't it's like give a half shit. of the Mazda 6. Four doors, 15 grand. Max. Yeah, it's like a Kia fucking sport. 
Yeah. Sorrento. I just want to see. Oh, a so like, kind of like we use the Dream Bros podcast. It, uh, uh, it looks yeah. like a, a Camry, kind of <laughs> sort of like a more rounded off Camry. Yeah, it's like a Camry. <sighs> well, the that's goat. An actual guy article. turned himself into a goat. Black, Black magic. magic, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. You got your news. That's the news for the here. day. What else <laughs> that's it. is with this guy, man? I mean, that's it. Certainly, they can't. Wasn't there something where the the president of of Oh, are you still just posing for the camera? Or we could. What's Dear going God, on here? So the uh, yeah, so the president of South Africa uh, a few years ago, uh, it was found out that he had been having sex with a woman with AIDS, mm. and he said on on you know national news that uh, his statement was that. He didn't have to worry about it because he took an extra hot shower. That is how it works. Afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. A gasoline no, rag and a hot shower. Yeah. By AIDS. Or back. if you get it, then That's you the just... president of a country. South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Trinket Bros. Fake News. <laughs>